I warn you that it is a bit of a sexy song. It is a song for lovers of the age 16 to 18 natural sciences curriculum. Uh, let's make love like rabbits a hundred times a week. Uh, let's make love like hedgehogs, you know, carefully. Hello, I'm Helen Arney. I am a musical comedian. I am an ex-physics graduate and I'm a geek songstress. Let's make love like hedgehogs, you know, carefully. Let's make love like salmon living in fresh water. You do it in the bath and I'll come and pick it up later. Oh, oh, oh. let's make love like... The more I started looking at this, looking under the surface of what all these animals get up to, the more it becomes fascinating and then disgusting and then fascinating again. <laughs> found my favourite animal, it's the anglerfish. Uh, and you can see from here what a beautiful specimen it is with the big juicy lips, with the tiny fangs embedded. The female is this incredibly ugly beast of a fish and the poor little male uh, gets attracted by the smell of the anglerfish, which is apparently like rotting meat and it starts nibbling away at the side of the female anglerfish. And while it starts nibbling, the female starts to absorb it into its body and starts to dissolve the whole poor little tiny male until it's just got its little gonads left on the side. I think you can just make out a few little lumps of uh, this fish's ex-lover's air on her skin. So she's keeping her relationship history very public there. Oh, so pretty. Really fun to try and get in contact with scientists. They just tell you one tiny interesting fact about what it is they're doing. Just the smallest of things. And that tiny fact can turn into a whole song. Baby, I've looked at this empirically. And I Statistically, I love you. And mathematically, I need you. And graphically, I want you. And on average, I'm, I'm going to make you mine. But it's human beings who are trying to understand the world around us. So you can never have science without having human beings and everything else that goes with that, from relationships to fights, to birth, marriage, death, everything. <laughs> that is probably the cleanest it has ever been. So thank you very much. <laughs> Last week I was doing a show in a uh, ex-public toilet in London, so. It had been fully converted into a bar, but, you know, that's the kind of places I normally play. Um, they don't have a clean room. So I wanted to write a song about Owen Schrodinger, the man who came up with the Schrodinger's cat paradox. This song is simultaneously both true and untrue. So I'm just telling any scientists watching this programme that this song has not been peer-reviewed. Okay, you can sing along, but you can't cite it in your paper. Young Erwin took his sister's favourite pet and put it in a box. In the name of science, you understand. He taped it up carefully and wrote, Shredding as hamster. On the top, you can probably see where this is going already. He took it out of their front door and threw it off the 18th floor. Now we don't let little Erwin near the cat. 
I work with scientists who are talking about their work on stage. I work with comedians who talk about science and technology. Uh, but it's not really like a revenge of the nerds where you know, we all get our own back for being bullied, for having glasses and spending our time in the lab at school. But it's much more of a celebration of all good things that are interesting. I think this stuff is too good not to make everyone understand it and not to let everyone get a chance to get their hands on it. It's just me at minus 200 degrees. I'm waiting for the 40th century. I have no regrets except not wearing a vest. Maybe I should just have bought you that discount home cremation kit instead.